Same, sir. Pretty quiet. Let's confine ourselves to facts and medical science. 
As I was saying. Oh. Anything important? I think so. That'll be all. What's the problem? Dr. Reyes. Haven't you heard? About what? About last night. It's about this girl, Clarita Villanueva. Uh, I'm afraid I'm in the dark. What are you referring to? And who is Clarita Villanueva? Captain, would you please explain? Well, last night, one of the prisoners, the girl, was attacked. Oh, and so? She was bitten. Well, bandage the wounds and isolate her from her attacker. What Captain de Guzman means is that we don't know who or what is attacking her. She was bitten. She says, it is the devil. They are attacking her. I would say it's a little bit early in the day for practical jokes, Captain. It is no joke, Dr. Reyes. I myself did not believe the captain when he told me about it this morning. However, I have seen it. Last night, this girl was attacked by something we couldn't see. Hysteria. No, doctor, not hysteria. It couldn't be. I've examined the wounds myself. They are deep teeth marks embedded in her skin. She bit herself. Doctor, I think it is better that you see it for yourself. I refuse to speculate on what or who is the cause of this. Where's the girl now? I had her sent to my office. Listen to the girl. Tell me, Clarita, what is it that happens to you? Come on. If I am to help you, you must confide in me. Then they bite me. Let us see where they bite you. There's certainly something like a bite. Now tell me, Clarita, who is biting you? There are two. The big one is very tall and very hairy and very black. The small one, he also attacks me. Of course, of course. Can you tell me why they attack you? Please, I really don't have time for this tall, dark and hairy fellow and his small companion. When they are ready to appear, call me. Yes, yes, I can see. But it can't be. But I tell you, it's still wet with saliva. The most sensational story today is the strange happenings at Villabiz. Demons invaded the prison and attacked a 17-year-old girl, Clarita Villanueva. At least that's the only explanation for the terrible bites that appear on the girl's body. Prison doctors and officials are baffled and can offer no explanation. The whole problem was brought to his honor, Mayor Laxon, and he replied that the devil is not under the jurisdiction of the city hall. It's a matter for the clergy. 
However, even the prison chaplain seems at odds with the appearance of these devils and can offer no explanation for the phenomenon. Dr. Reyes, chief physician, promises to call qualified experts to study this strange thing that torments poor Clarita Villanueva. Now on the other news, the Senate convened today in one of the longest... Yes, that's right. I'd like permission to see the girl. If you could arrange for me to, to meet and talk with his honor, the mayor, I am sure that I can convince him that this is the only way to save this poor girl. All right, thank you very much. Then I, I'll see you at the mayor's office. Now, I tell you, gentlemen, I don't know any more than I did yesterday and the day before that. Doctor, what about the medical experts you said you were calling in on yeah, this case? Yeah, I'm sorry, gentlemen, I'm sorry. Please. Doctor, confidentially, do you actually believe the demons are biting this girl? We don't know who or what is causing this phenomenon. And we haven't found out how to combat this terrible thing. But we are trying our very best to find the answers. Now then, I promise you all, I'll let you know immediately, as soon as there is something to report. Look, Doc, we need a story. We need a story. You're the doctor. We're the doctor. We will let you know as soon as anything you develop. Gentlemen, please, thank you very much for your time and patience. We will let you know immediately. Thank you very much. Yes? Whom do you wish to see? I wish to speak with Dr. Reyes, please. Oh, I'm sorry, uh, but... Yes? Excuse me, I have to attend to something, Doctor. What can I do for you? I'm Lester Summerall, uh, Dr. Reyes. Yes? I have just come from the office of the mayor. Yes, of course, of course. You are Reverend Summerall. That's right, Doctor. Please be seated. Thank you. You are here, I believe, to see Clarita Villanueva. That's true, Doctor. We have tried many types of medical help for this girl. We have had the best brains in the medical profession. We have tried every ways and means known to man. Are you sure, Doctor, that you've tried everything? Now, let me ask you. If you feel this terrible thing is brought about by some unknown power of force, how would you define it? I don't think I understand. Do you feel that this has been brought on by man's power in this girl? No, definitely not. Observing that you are a religious man, do you feel that this is the evidence of God's power in her? Of course not. This is a terrible thing. Exactly. It is a terrible thing. And as it is not man's power, nor God's power. It was brought about by some terrible thing. What kind of terrible thing, Reverend? I mean the forces of hell, the power of the devil. Reverend, you can't be serious. I was never more serious in my life. But it's impossible. Nobody has seen the devil. Clarita Villanueva has. What exactly did you plan to do, uh, Reverend? I plan to pray for her and to see her healed by the power and authority of the Lord Jesus Christ. How? Doctor, the Holy Bible tells us in the very words of the Lord Jesus Christ called the Great Commission and the Gospel of Mark, chapter 16, these glorious words, that they that have faith they shall go and cast out devils 
in his name. And we believe those words. When would you like to see Clarita? Tomorrow morning, doctor. And would you please not offer her any medication or special assistance until that time? Why is that? Well, doctor, we live in a world of skepticism and unbelief and doubt. And when God performs this great miracle, we want him to have the glory for it completely. I don't want any doubt but what this is God's power. Yes, I see. Very well. It shall be as you say. Thank you. I shall see you tomorrow. I'm very sorry, gentlemen. I don't believe there's anything I can say at the moment. Look, Doc, give us a break. We got a deadline. Give me a I'm sorry. I'm in the dark myself. Oh, good morning, Reverend. We have been anxiously waiting for you. But, Doctor. Doctor, I wanted to see Clarita alone. I wasn't expecting all this publicity. Uh, now, Reverend. The newsmen here are also very interested about Clarita, and they promise not to interfere or bother you. I really don't know. I wasn't expecting this way. Relax, Reverend. We're not here to make it tough on you. We represent every major newspaper and several foreign news services. We're looking for a story. And if you can really help this girl, then you'll be the only one. And that, Reverend, is big news. I see. I see. We just want to witness whatever you do with our own eyes. You're right. And you shall see it with your own eyes. Shall we go out, Reverend? Shall we go out? I don't like you. Clarita, I have come to set you free in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and by his power. No, they will kill me. They will not kill you. The Lord Jesus will set you free. To hell with God. Come out of her, you wicked spirit of hell. In the name of Jesus Christ, come out of her! devils of hell to come out of this poor girl. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. It's no use, Reverend. When she gets into a coma like this, it, it'll be some time before she could get out of it. I command you, Satan. is pure. Jesus is Russian. Down, Jesus. In the name of the Lord, be delivered. We'll never leave. Never. You can make us live. I command you to go. In the name of Almighty God and His Son, the Lord Jesus Christ, who died for us, I command you, demons and devils of hell, and of your master, Satan, to come out of her. And to go now, in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, I believe it.
Is it over? Do you really think the devils are gone? The devils are not easy to get rid of. We need all of God's power for this deliverance. What can we do to help? I must leave now. Doctor, I'll return to my home and I will pray and fast today and tonight. And tomorrow, the same time, I'll return again. Get some more pictures. Hello? Uh, City desk. Uh, Jimmy here. Uh, here's our lead for today. Devil loses round one. That's right. Loses Hello? round one. You know, Doctor, everything seems so strange. Oh, I think so, too. Yes. There must be a scientific explanation for this. Good morning, Doctor. Good morning. Meet Reverend Dale that we've brought along with us this morning to help us pray, a friend of mine. Good morning, Reverend. Well, I must say, uh, Reverend Somerall, that a lot of us were skeptical and, frankly speaking, critical of your coming here. But not anymore. We are 100% on your side. I think it's a miracle what you have done so far. It's God's miracle, Doctor. We haven't seen it all yet. Good morning, Clarita. How are you today, Clarita? Are you better? No. Go away. Go away. Go away. Go away. I will not go away. A few devils will go away. Clarita must be healed today. No. Leave us alone. I wish you would help me by joining me in prayer. In the name of Jesus Christ, I bind every power of the devil and command you to be free from this moment. In Jesus' name. Are they gone, Clarita? Did they go away? Where, where did they go? There. Out the window. Oh God, I thank you for your mighty power to set men and women free today. And I give thanks that you have set this woman free from thy power. you from God's Word. First Timothy chapter 4 and verse 1. 
Unang Timoteo 4 at unang talata. Now the Spirit speaketh expressly that in the latter time some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. Ngayon ay hayag na sinasabi ng Espiritu na sa mga huling araw ay maraming tatalikod sa pananampalataya at makikinig. These are the last of the latter times. Ito ang uh, huli ng mga huling araw. There are millions who are giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. Angaw-angaw ang uh, nakikinig sa mga mapanghikayat na espiritu ng Diablo. This is the world's number one problem. Ito ang unang suliranin ng sanglibutan. God has shown me by His Spirit the greatest need of humanity today. Pinakita ng Diyos sa akin sa pamagitan ng Kanyang Espiritu ang pinakamalaking kailangan ng sangkatauhan ngayon. The tremendous need of this hour is to heal the spirit and the mind of mankind. Ang dakilang pangailangan ng panahong ito ay pagalingin ang isip at espiritu ng sangkatauhan. That is the healing of the inner man. Yan ang paggaling ng taong panloob. My friend, the greatest battle that has ever been fought for the mind and the soul of man is yet to be fought on this earth. Mga kaibigan, ang pinakadakilang digma na gagawin pa sa lupang ito ay tungkol sa isipan at buhay ng tao. Today, the devil is seeking to possess the spirit of man more than ever before in history. In our times, we see tremendous evidence of demon power in operation. There are more people needing mental and spiritual deliverance than ever before. Today, a large segment of humanity are suffering from the tortures of demon afflictions with, with great multitudes of people who do not even believe in the existence of the devil. But of course, this is what the devil wants. Here are some ways the devil's power can be observed in our modern world. Narito ang ilang paraan na masasaksihan natin ang kapangirihan ng Diablo sa kasalukuyan. For example, the political world. Halimbawa, sa buhay politika. Look into the future. Our world more and more will have strange and fierce leaders as heads of government. Sa hinaharap ay magkakaroon tayo ng lalong mga mabalasik na mga tagapangunahin sa mga iba't ibang pamahalaan. An illustration of this was the dictator Adolf Hitler. At uh, ang halimbawa nito ay ang diktador na si Hitler. He was a man possessed of a familiar spirit. Siya ay isang lalaki na mayroong masamang espiritu. And even today, there are political leaders who resort to witchcraft and diviners and fortune tellers for political information. At kahit ngayon ay mayroong mga pangunahin na gumagamit ng mga mangkukulam at mga manghuhula upang magtagumpay sila sa kanilang sariling paraan. Another area to witness unusual demon power is in the committing of crime. Much of today's global crime wave is beyond any human reason. We read in our newspapers where a person kills a loved one or a friend and later tells the police, a spirit told me to do it. Indeed, it was a spirit, but it was an evil spirit. We read of the terrible mutilating of human bodies and even the killing of total strangers. The present worldwide crime wave, I believe, is demon-inspired. And all the police agencies of the entire world will not be able to stop it. Only Christ is the answer. My friend, God can take hatred and God can take away all kinds of sin from men's life. Another area where we see demon power is in that of morals. The immorality of our times is not normal. The perversion in morals is moving like an avalanche against the total of human society. It is not the condition of any one country, but it is a global situation. The morals of the world at this moment are very similar to those in Sodom and Gomorrah when God destroyed those cities. Men and women today seemingly have abandoned their moral standards. Passion today is crowned as king. Much of it is demon-inspired, and only Christ can conquer the uncontrolled passions of mankind. Even in the religious world, one can witness the same demon power. Kahit na sa pananampalataya ng sanglibutan, ay masasaksihan ninyo ang kapangirihan ng demonyo. 
our generation more and more is being influenced by demon power in religious cults. Higit at higit, ang ating buhay sa sanglibutan ay napapasok ng kapangirihan ng demonyo. Devil worship is growing at a tremendous pace at this very moment. Ang pagsamba sa demonyo ay lumalago sa matuling paraan. Spiritist groups are gaining strength and prestige throughout the whole world. Ang mga pulutong na mga espiritista ay lumalago sa maraming bahagi ng sanglibutan. They deceived the bereaved and broken-hearted through telling them that they're talking with the dead. Kanilang nililinlang ang mga nalulumbay at nauulila sa pamagitan ng pagsasabing makakausap nila ang kanilang mga patay. But permit me to inform you that God has promised that in these last days, His ministers shall possess greater power. Therefore, the battle for immortal souls is a battle of God's power against the devil's power. With God's power, The prophet Elijah was stronger than 850 demonized false prophets. And when our Lord Jesus was challenged by a demoniac who possessed over 2,000 evil spirits, the Lord instantly delivered him and sent him happily back to his own family. Christ is the same today. Si Cristo ay siya rin ngayon. My friend, he can set you free. Kaibigan ko, ikaw ay kanyang mapalalaya. God desires that all humanity be free. Ninanais ng Diyos na ang buong sangkatauhan ay lumaya. If you will receive God's power now, He will set you free. Kung tatanggapin mo ang kapangirihan ng Diyos ngayon, ikaw ay kanyang palalayain. The last command of our Lord and Savior upon this earth, ang huling utos ng ating tagapagligtas dito sa lupa, He told his disciples to go and cast out devils. Sinabi niya sa kanyang mga alagad na humayo at magpalabas ng mga demonyo. And they were to do that in his name. At yun ay kanilang gagawin sa kanyang pangalan. We are ready now to pray for you. Nakahanda tayo ngayon ay panalangin kayo. Will you receive the Lord Jesus Christ as your Savior? Inyo bang tatanggapin si Heso Kristo na inyong tagapagligtas? Will you forsake the ways of sin and the devil? Inyo bang tatalikuran ang paraan ng jablo at ng kasalanan? If so, stand on your feet right now. Kung gayon, ay tumindig kayo. Thank you very much. Marami pong salamat. Now, would you just come forward for prayer? Ngayon, maaari po ba kayong lumapit para kayo'y may panalangin? Thank you. Marami po'y salamat. Now we shall pray. Tayo ngayon ay mananalangin. Lord Jesus Christ, Panginoong Heso Kristo, set these people free. Palayain mo ang mga taong ito. Release them by your divine power. Palayain mo sila sa pamagitan ng iyong kapangyarihan. Break the chains of satanic bondage. Sirain mo ang tanikala ni Satanas. Give them your spirit. Bigay mo sa kanila ang iyong espiritu, your peace, ang iyong kapayapaan, and your love. at ang iyong pag-ibig. I thank you for hearing my prayer. Salamat sa iyo at dininig mo ang ating mga dalangin. Amen. Amen. Amen.